Nine, three minute rounds straight. The sparring done with the boys this morning. Fueling up on a banana before we get into the general session. So today in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys through my full day of eating, showing you everything that I eat to fuel my performance for boxing and all my training. I just got home from a massive Saturday morning session. We squeezed all of our training into the first session of the morning. So that was three hours all up of training. Absolutely exhausted. I've already had this shake previously, so I had this as a pre-workout shake also. But I'm actually going to have it now because I'm going to have a breakfast a little bit later today. Uh, I'm just going to take you guys through exactly what I put into my shake. First up, I'm going to grab our shaker bottle. What I'm firstly gonna add into here is one scoop of creatine. I've already actually had a scoop of creatine today, so I'm not gonna worry about putting it in this one, but usually I'll put a scoop of creatine in. I'm going to put two scoops of this tropical BCAs in here. Next, I'm gonna add some Hydrolyte Sport just for some extra hydration. So these are just your hydration tablets. I'm gonna add in one of these. And also, because I reckon it helps support my energy levels, I put in a Barocca performance tablet. This is just the orange flavor. I actually really see a massive benefit when I take this. So I'm gonna pop one of these in there also. So we got a bit of an orange tropical vibe going on in this drink. One of those. And then to top it all off, I add in some pink Himalayan salt just for some extra hydration. Just a little bit of that. Since it's a very strong tropical flavor that the greens won't hopefully come through too much, but it's always good to get a super greens in. So one scoop of super greens. Initial taste test. It's not too bad, the greens are hitting pretty well. So that's just gonna really hydrate us up. Sweated a lot in that session. Get some good micronutrients in. Let the body recover first up. So I'll down this. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit and then we'll jump into breakfast. Okay, so we've got our first meal going down for the day. First up, we've got a cup of quick oats with some cacao powder and a little bit of natural salted caramel protein. So that is all what I have first up every single morning, get my carbs in. Today, I'm gonna add in a little bit of peanut butter this morning, um, just because I feel like it and because it's gonna keep me full for longer. So I put in the Mavis natural crunchy peanut butter. Peanut butter is probably the best thing that has ever been invented. And then we had our failed, failed omelet. I think I little, put a little bit too much almond milk in here, but it's just three egg omelet with a little bit of almond milk and salt and pepper, but I reckon it was a little bit too liquidy. That's why I completely failed that flip. My omelet skills are just getting worse and worse. So they started off pretty good, but now they're just horrible. But on top of that, I'm gonna put a little bit more pink Himalayan salt and some cracked pepper. It's gonna be our first meal for the day. 
Straight after breakfast, I get into my morning supplements. I see I have a fair few here. First up, what I take, two fish oil capsules, one men's multivitamin, so this is just the alpha men's multivitamin. Two electrolyte tablets, just to help get some more electrolytes in. I have two of these zinc tablets a day, and then also have this Mal Mojo. So these two are just help support energy levels, just for my all round vitamins. And then fish oil, obviously is good for the joints, get your good healthy fats in. So always have this straight after breakfast. There is all the vitamins that I'll have this morning. Getting a little peggish now, so I'm gonna have a little snack, just having one Pink Lady Apple. Pink Lady Apples are the best apples. Just have at least a couple of pieces of fruit a day. This is gonna hold us off until we get into lunch. While I'm having my apple, I've decided to have my second black coffee for the day. One other thing I'm going to have as well before lunch is a low carb protein bar. These ones are super good. These are the cookies and cream ones by Body Science. I don't like getting these ones, it's probably because they're the best tasting. They're sweetened by stevia, so there's none of the artificial sweetness in there, as you guys can see right there. But yeah, they're absolutely amazing. You guys may have seen these on my video before, but a little tip that I like to do with my protein bars is I like to put them in the freezer. It's a little bit harder to eat when it's in the freezer and then it takes longer. It's just a tip if you're always hungry, so. They're too good, too good. Mm. All right, so it is just coming up on three o'clock now, and I'm going to be getting into my main lunch meal, which I just whipped up here, as you guys seen. Your green beans and some frozen veggies. I like to use just the frozen veggies just because they're so quick and convenient. Got the exact same nutrient profile, mostly. Got about a cup of rice in here. This is just a long grain rice with some tuna. I've been loving just getting the tuna packets. It's making life so much easier. They're super cheap and it's just convenient and it tastes good just to chuck into a big bowl like this. I put in the vegan barbecue sauce and the vegan mayonnaise makes this stuff taste so good, like a big sushi bowl. And then just some pink Himalayan salt and some pepper. So that is going to be lunch. It's been catching up on some Cobra Kai. Finally put it on Netflix. It was on YouTube for a while. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's to do with the original Karate Kid. So it's a series building on from when they're older. So I highly recommend it if you guys want to check something out like this. Next meal of the day is going down. What we've got is another cup of oats with cacao powder and some whey protein. Usually this will be my staple pre-workout meal, but obviously today I'm just having it whenever because I've already done all my training for the day. So this will be my pre-workout meal on a normal day or I'll switch it up. Sometimes I do have a bagel with some peanut butter and banana, just some high form of carbs. So usually I like to go with the cup of oats. Okay guys, we now have dinner going down exactly the same as lunch. We've got a bunch of veggies, so green beans, and then a bunch of other frozen vegetables in there. Usually I'd put chicken into this meal, but I didn't have any chicken prep, so I put it in another tin of tuna. I'll do that, just something quick and easy. And we were having a roast, so they had some roast potatoes and stuff left over, so I chucked in a roast potato, and then a few roast carrots into there, as well as the sauces. One egg I always add into my dinner, so I'll mix that up with the rice. 125 grams of rice in here, I'll crack in one egg, Mix it in, make a little bit of a fried rice and then put some black beans in there just for some good fiber. So that is going to be our dinner. Topped off with some pink Himalayan salt and cracked pepper. It's good. It's good with those roast veggies in there. This is never usually a part of my weekly schedule on my diet. But on a weekend, I like to have a little treat and I like to get around the Halo Top ice cream. Strawberry cheesecake is where it is at, so I'm just watching some more Cobra Kai. Absolutely going through a phase with this right now. Um, and I'm gonna finish off this whole tub of ice cream. Just a look at that. It's got like cheesecake chunks in it. Absolutely delicious, staple Saturday treat. All right, guys, so we got the last meal of the night going down. As you guys see, we've got a big, huge bowl of steaming hot oats. They are boiling and they're burning my hand. But that is going to be the final meal of the night. What it is, is a cup and a half of oats, as you guys seen. I had the cacao powder in there, the burn protein, uh, which is just a chocolate flavored protein that I've been using. 
and also some peanut butter. So that is gonna finish off my night. I have that every single night before I go to bed. I like to go to bed full, some carbs in my system just to help with some recovery overnight. But that is going to be the final meal. And that is my full day of eating as an amateur boxer. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. A little insight to what I use to fuel my training every single day. As you guys see, it's very high carb, lots of veg. Try to get in some good nutrients and also all my vitamins. So that is what I have every single day. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and support the journey. And I will see you in the next video. Adios.